Priscilla, may I ask you guys what your name is and where you're from? Sure, uh, my name is Lara Konefsky and I'm from New Jersey. Hi, I'm Jemima Slocka and I'm from London, England. Love your accent. Thank you. <laughs> so, can you tell me something about you and your family? Sure. Well, my brother actually just got married, and they're expecting their first child in September. Congratulations. So they're having a girl. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, I am one of four children, and they all live in London, and my brother just got engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank Did you, you so come much. here to visit? Oh, no, I live here. Oh, okay. Sorry. They all live at home. I live in New York. That's probably more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so where is your favorite place? In the world? Yeah. Well, so I still there's a lot of travel that I want to do, but so far my favorite place is Italy. So I, yeah. uh, mine is South Africa. Mm-hmm. Have you been to South Africa? Yeah, twice. So, what's your favorite food? That's really a hard one. I think sushi. I say sushi. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie. Um, but actually. <laughs> Last night I watched a very good movie, Three Billboards, and it was amazing. Mine's The Parent Trap. <laughs> Do you have a favorite actor or actress? Um, it's a hard one. I really like Tom Hardy. How about you? I like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Titanic. Yeah, and like all his films I love. So. Do you have a favorite singer? My favorite singer. Madonna. Um, Britney Spears. Okay, so we're gonna change some topics into a new topic. So why do we why do you think that we need to take care of our parents when they're old? Because they took care of us and they helped raise us. Yeah, I agree, because they raised us and because um, we love them very much. Yes. So it's important to care. Why do you think we need to respect each other and especially elders? Why? Um, because they've also helped like shape who we are and um, they've taught you to respect other people, so it's important to show them the respect that they've shown us. I agree. That was very well said, Laura. Thank you. How do you feel when you see someone disrespecting someone else? If I see someone disrespecting someone else, um, it bothers me. I feel upset for them. Um, You know, a lot of times I want to jump in and help. And sometimes if I can, I will. Yeah, I feel offended also and angry. Um... In New York, there are a lot of people who are on the streets because they have nowhere to go. So especially during the winter or summertime where it's either super cold or super warm, how do you feel when you see them on the streets without the proper clothing? I feel really bad. And, you know, I always think like if they, I always think if they, I want them to go look for a shelter or things like that. Or I'll, I'll get them, I'll, sometimes I'll get them if I have any food in my bag, I'll give them like by the bar, I'll give them what I have. Um, so I feel bad. I feel really bad for them. Yeah, I feel sad for them. Um, I think there's a lot of good charities nowadays that help out the homeless, and I think there's definitely a big initiative in New York City to help them. There are some people who don't help them. So do you think? Why do you think they do? Don't help them. A lot of people are very, you know, busy with their lives, and like they, you know, a lot of people in New York are constantly going to. You know, they're on their way to work or they're busy so like they don't really stop um so they're just like, kind of in a rush i agree they're just probably not mindful of it but i think that's only human yeah how do you feel if you see going back to the homeless people if you see one of them searching for food in the trash and if they actually find some leftovers how do you feel when you see them after <laughs> well it, i mean it's I feel bad that they have to do that, but I'm also feel good that they found food to eat. So it's kind of, you know, it's a bad thing. It's kind of, you know, it's not very sanitary, but um, mixed emotion. Yeah. Honestly, I think your natural reaction is, like, you know, it's so odd. That's, like, not good. But, you know, people do what they need to in life to survive. So, good idea. Yeah. So in New York and all over the world, there's lots of diversity and lots of different unique people. 
So how do you feel when you see someone discriminating someone else because of their religion, the color of their skin, and who they are? I think it's terrible. I don't believe in that. And I, you know, it's extremely inappropriate and wrong. Um, yeah. yeah, I agree. I think it's um, a very dated way of thinking. I think in this day in society, it's, um, we're very diverse and very accepting society. So I think it's very offensive to see that happen still. Okay, so last question. If you became the next president of the United States, what would you change first? First? Mm -hmm. Your first priority. I don't know if this would be first. I mean, I would try to help homeless and try to, like, you know, create more shelters for them and also help with, like, cancer research. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of things that need to be done. <laughs> but that's kind of, like, where I would start. <laughs> <laughs> I would um, honestly I would make like some of the holidays <laughs> mandatory I'm joking I don't know honestly I don't know I'd probably you know lower taxes I'm joking <laughs> Um, lower the rent in New York City. Lower the rent in New York City. Lower the rent in New York City, definitely. Oh, no, no, no. Make it mandatory for a washer dryer in every unit in New York City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. That's what I do. It's disgraceful how we live in that city. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.